walk you through our problem statement, approach, and our solution. Hi, I'm Guy3. We love to work together and solve problems. I'm Shiv, and we want to help our community. I'm Ethan, and we have fun as a team. Hi, I'm Arjun, but most importantly, we challenge ourselves to be inclusive in every way. We are a team that works well together, and we also love to play. Ethan and I love to play soccer. Guy 3 plays tennis, and Shiv loves basketball. Most of the parks around us don't have play structures for children in wheelchairs or with other disabilities. In fact, the parks with grass and wood chips are not even accessible by wheelchairs. So how do children with disabilities play in our community parks? And how do kids in wheelchairs play sports like basketball or tennis with us? This made us think. Our team decided to research this problem. First, we observed. We visited parks in both Bellevue and Kirkland and discussed how these parks could be more inclusive. Next, we did our research. We read about the reconstruction of the Bellevue, Bellevue Downtown Park, which is an accessible park in our neighborhood. We also consulted staff working for the Parks Department at the City of Kirkland. They informed us that the Juanita Bay Park has now been reconstructed to be adaptive and will soon be open to the public. The Totem Lake Park received funding to be reconstructed as an adaptive park, and construction will start soon. Finally, the fun part. We brainstormed innovative ideas and solutions that would allow children in wheelchairs to play, interact with other kids in the park. One in five people in the U.S. have a disability. 13% of students enrolled in our country's public school system receive support due to a cognitive or physical disability. Even parks that meet the requirements of the American Disabilities Act, or ADA, are still not inclusive. Sadly, even affluent cities like Bellevue and Kirkland have only one or two parks that are accessible. Accessible parks in these cities do not offer options for interactive play for children in wheelchairs with others in the park. We realize that our community needs to include everyone to be more active. Our team brainstormed ideas on ways to make our existing parks more inclusive. Here is what we came up with. One idea is to make a programmable basketball hoop. This basketball hoop has two settings. One is one setting is that if you click the left button, it will change the basketball's basketball hoops height to the de desired height for the player. The second setting is to change the it will which will which will make the basketball hoop change its height constantly for the player as a challenge. With the first setting the player in the wheelchair can adjust the hoop height to the appropriate level. With the second setting, the hoop height will constantly change, further challenging the player, whether in the wheelchair or not. And when we went to parks in our local communities, we saw some things for um, disabled people, but we didn't see things like de uh, designed for them, and we didn't see a lot of people who are disabled there as well. So we wanted to just kind of design a park where people who are disabled can go and also have a fun time. This is a swing for people in wheelchairs. They roll on and the swing raises by itself, meaning by a motor, and then the swing uh, swings by swings using a motor. Another motor. <laughs> yeah, another motor. We are sending our solutions to the city council city manager and parks department staff of a few cities like Kirkland and Bellevue. We hope they will adopt our ideas and truly help our community parks become inclusive.